Hello, babe, and welcome to chapter 4 of How to Stream. What do you think of when I say live streaming? During the last two chapters, I've been talking about how live streaming looks like all over the world. From mukbangs in South Korea to the massive e-commerce industry in China. But now, I want to talk about what to stream and why. How should one reason? So first off, you need to ask yourself, uh, wh why do you want to stream? Because streaming is mostly just a means to an end. Is it because you want to entertain or just have fun? Earn money? Get a career? Is it just because you want to get famous? Or is it just because you can, you have no plan? I would say that depending on what your reason is decides what kind of streamer you will become and if you will succeed. I would also argue for that some reasons are healthier than others. It is greater to want to become a streamer because you primarily want to give something rather than if you want to get something. There is a fundamental difference uh, here. Like comparing you wanting to entertain versus you wanting to get famous or get rich. To become famous or rich should never be the goal. Just the effect of you doing something you love and something people happen to appreciate. Now, one thing I want to point out is that I'm really allergic uh, to people focusing too much on likes and followers. That is not healthy on any platforms. What you should focus on is giving quality and over time hopefully reach out. If you deserve it, you will get it. But be patient. This is not a sprint. This is a marathon that requires love and dedication. Promotion is of course a big thing in getting popular and we will talk more about that in, uh, in a coming chapter. But when, when streaming, you always have to be aware. You have to be aware of your surroundings. So what you view, viewers um, see and hear. It's actually not too hard to stand out, but it's harder to stand out in a positive way uh, versus in a negative way. Everybody can be angry or naked on social media and get massive clicks and share volumes, but ask yourself, is that really something you are willing to leave behind you forever on the internet? Or do you want to become something else? Do you want to become someone else? It's not who I am underneath. What I do that defines me. Bruce? So, my initial thought was that I was just gonna stream uh, me playing games, but after a while I saw that it wasn't enough because almost everything you do is compared to thousands of other people doing the same thing, where many actually do it better. So, I had to ask myself is there a particular thing that I'm best at? Well, not really. My strength is that I'm good at a lot of different things combined, but how can I use this? So here you, you really have to be honest with yourself. If you can't be that, ask some good friends to help you out and don't get mad, be thankful. But not mom and dad though, they're too biased. So in my case, I'm thinking of mixing me streaming games, but also me doing interviews and uh, other things that fit my, uh, my, my profile and passion. And see if it works out so just by trying things, right? So there are no solutions here. Everybody has to find their own way. You have to look at yourself and find what you, what you love. Because normally you're either really good uh, at a game, like crowd good, or you're really funny. Fewer people are a mix of that. You could, uh, of course, also play a, a made-up character. Uh, that's also, uh, also um, a thing you can do, like Dr. Disrespect, 
Uh, there, there is, to be honest, one other popular way. Uh, if you're a hot girl, you can attract followers by showing cleavage and ass, and that is something. But there, as I mentioned before, that is not something I would, I would recommend and encourage. You will probably feel better in the long run if people uh, follow you for your insides and not your outsides, right? So how much time uh, do I have to invest in, in, in streaming? Uh, most successful gaming streamers started out by streaming games on Twitch for six to eight hours a day, almost every day of the week. I will not be able to do that because, well, life. So my angle has to be less is more. Mebel store. <laughs> but the, the more content you push out there, the greater the chance is that you will, you will be noticed. In most cases with up and coming streamers, you generally stick to one game. Uh, you don't need to do it, PewDiePie doesn't, but it's the most uh, common one. Ask yourself, is there a game you can play for months at a time, for many hours a day? Uh, for me, right now, Player Battlegrounds, Player Unknown Battlegrounds is, is that kind of game, but I will probably be more open to trying out uh, other things in the future when new games come out. And depending if I will stream by myself or with, with friends uh, in the future. I will put a link in the, in the um, comments below, which will lead you to the to Twitch metrics, where you can see which games are most popular. And in that way, maybe decide the way you want to go. My son Milo uh, wants me to start playing uh, Fortnite with him. So the question is if I'm comfortable of being carried by a 10-year-old kid. I think not, right? But he's actually really good. We'll see. They are the future, right? I have the, this vision, however, that we could use the gaming to, to better educate ourselves. That's something I want to stream about. We all know that we learn better when we are having fun, right? So a few things entertain us as much as games. So imagine learning history or math through, through games. So I'm going to do some content about that, probably by inviting people to talk about uh, these kind of things. Uh, one other thing, I would also like to dive into how we could um, build bridges uh, between certain groups of people. For example, parents who never game and kids who do. Uh, look into that, uh, but in a, in a stream away, right? Or tourists and immigrants who want to learn more about our culture and country and uh, vice versa. Uh, imagine before you go to your vacation uh, to Egypt and uh, why not play a game with uh, some Egyptians and maybe get a friend. Gaming really doesn't have any borders and I love that. You also have to think about what, what language you want to stream in. So if I only spoke in Swedish or Montenegrin, I would be more niched because there, are, there, there only is a couple of million people who would understand me. If I go uh, and speak English instead, like, like I'm doing now, I will, uh, I will have a reach of about one and a half billion people. That's 20% um, of the Earth population. But this would also mean bigger competition. So most of them, uh, the English-speaking nations, don't have English as their native language. Uh, so they, don't, they won't even be bothered by, by my in, imperfect speech. So I decided, as you noticed, that I will mainly do English, supported by Swedish and Montenegrin, to learn and feel the differences. We will see how all of this goes. I will, as promised, fill you in uh, along the way. Yeah, that, that, that's enough for this chapter. These things always get longer than I wanted to, but hey. Don't forget to be excellent to each other, and please do subscribe. Until next week, adios.